Hello, welcome to another session of algorithm analysis. So we will analyze the algorithm, which is a three sum problem, the sum of three problems. So if we have discussed it in our previous sessions, so a detailed explanation is available on our previous videos. So here, <coughs> what we'll do is, we'll just have a small revision on the sum of three problem. So we have few numbers, 30, minus 40, minus 20, minus 10, 40, 0, 10, and 5. So we have a set of numbers and if we take a triplet, the total should be 0. So minus, so we have four options, 30 minus 40, 10, which is equal to 0. 30 minus 20 minus 10, the sum is 0. So we have to find all the triplets. So we have managed uh, to get the code up and running. So we have managed the code up and running. So we have data files, 1000 integers, 2000 integers, 4000, 8000 and 16000. So if we run it with 1000 integers, The time is 0 0.36. So we'll put data size time for thousand integers 0 0.36. And we can try for 2000 integers. The time is 2.244. Point two four four for four thousand integers So 4,000 integers, still we are not getting an output, let's see. Fourteen point eight two seconds. Let's try for 8,000 integers. So this is my, I previously also tested this. In my previous attempt, I found these values. So that is test number one, previously which I did. This is test number two. 
so for 1000 integers previously it took 0 0.29 seconds now it is 0 0.36 seconds for 2000 integers in the first attempt it was 1.981 seconds so in this time we got 2.244 seconds so there might be slight differences but if you plot it you will see for 4000 integers we have 14.82 now and previously it was 13.341 previous almost same values so here what we are looking at is once we double the data size how the time will change so we look at the graph size the graph structure so you can see it's a curve when it goes up so the sum of three problem has three for loops so it is like the o n cube as big O notation we look at that in the next slide if you look at the time that is 14.82 for this much and so if you plot it you will get a graph like this so if we remove this one so you get a graph something like this so you can try it various other values so if we go back to our slide so this is So this is the order of growth classification summary. So we looked at the sum of three problem which has three for loops. So that is cubic O n 3. So that is cubic. If you have two for loops, two normal for loops that is easy it is n squared. And if it's 2 to the power n it is exponential so if you look at merge sort we will be discussing it in future lectures so that is linear arithmetic if you just have one for loop that is linear if you have a for loop if you have a for loop or a while loop at, at each iteration the maximum iteration count is divided by 2 so first in this while loop in the first iteration if n is 10 inside the while loop we are dividing the n by 2 so that means 5 the iterations are dividing divided in each iteration so that is logarithmic 1 is the best case that is constant So here is another example where you have the data size and the time which is given in the slide. So when you have the data size and the time, next we get the ratio that is you divide the ratio of the time 6.4 divided by 0 0.8 then you get this value and if you get the log value log for the base 2 then you get 3 so you can see it is converging to 3 so that is another experiment analysis that we see that the log ratio is converging to 3 so that 3 is a special number so we got it from the from our empirical analysis so that is O n cube so that is the theory that we derived
This is the theory that we derived. If you have three for loops, that is O n cube. So this is like the cheat sheet. If you have three for loops, that is O n cube. If you have two for loops, that is n squared. One for loop, it is linear. And when inside each for loop, if the iterations are divided by two, if something like that is happening, it's logarithmic. If it's a normal statement, it is constant. And you have the exponential at the end. So the big O notation increases. If you go down 1 log n, n, n log n, n squared, n cube, and 2 to the power n, the size increases. So when the big O value increases, so that is it's more, uh, there's more weight and it's complex, get, it's gradually getting complex and also the efficiency is becoming low. When the big O notation is high, big O value is high, the efficiency is becoming low. So this is the comprehensive analysis that we did to retrieve the graph. So you also can try it with multiple times. So you will get slightly different values each time, but the graph shape should be same. It is increasing like this, O n cube. So the slope is very high if it's exponential. If it's linear, it's something like this. We'll discuss more in those sessions. So that's the end of this practical session.